This is Twit. A paper which was presented last week at the second annual IEEE European Symposium on Security and Privacy, uh, which occurred in France, uh, in Paris, um, was titled The Emergence of Ultrasonic Cross-Device Tracking. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, that, that, that's my title. Privacy Threats Through Ultrasonic Side Channels on Mobile Devices. And, and I've been meaning to mention to you, Leo, we know that this is actually can be done because that's how that c- cool little uh, EKG monitor that you like operates. Ah. That little black strip with the two silver pads. Um, and the reason it says it needs access to your microphone is it's, it uses frequency modulated ultrasonics in order to instantaneously send the voltage that it's picking up oh, between your hands uh, huh. into your phone, which then converts it in a, into an EKG waveform. So anyway, wh- what's a little worrisome, we talked about silver push before. That's this idea of, of applications surreptitiously listening for v- high frequency, you know, essentially dog whistles, um, that are being used to convey information. Four German security researchers analyzed a, a large repository of Android apps. In the abstract to their paper, they wrote, device tracking is a serious threat to the privacy of users as it enables spying on their habits and activities. A recent practice embeds ultrasonic beacons in audio and tracks them using the microphone of mobile devices. This side channel allows an adversary to identify a user's current location, spy on their TV viewing habits, or link together their different mobile devices. In this paper, We explore the capabilities and current prevalence and technical limitations of this new tracking technique based on three commercial tracking solutions. So these are are being commercially offered as SDKs to people for this purpose. To this end, they write, we develop detection approaches for ultrasonic beacons and Android applications capable of processing these. Our findings confirm our privacy concerns. We spot, get a load of this, ultrasonic beacons in various web media content and detect signals in four of 35 stores in two European cities that are used for location tracking. While we do not find ultrasonic beacons in TV streams from seven countries, we spotted 234 Android applications that are constantly listening for ultrasonic beacons in the background without their user's knowledge. (laughs) And it turns out these are not all obscure applications. McDonald's and Krispy Kreme are among the applications that are using this technology. Um, So with the headline, hundreds of privacy invading apps are using ultrasonic sounds to track you, ZDNet summarized it saying, a new privacy busting technique that tracks consumers through the use of ultrasonic tones may have once sounded like the stuff of science fiction novels, but today it's reality. These near silent tones cannot be picked up by the human ear, but there are apps in your phone that are always listening for them. I would say there may be apps in your phone. This technology is called ultrasonic cross device tracking, and it works by emitting high frequency tones in advertisements and billboards, web pages, and across brick and mortar retail outlets or sports stadiums apps with access to your phone's microphone can pick up these tones and build up a profile 
about what you've seen, where, and in some cases, even the websites you visited. The technology is still in its infancy, but it's growing in popularity. And then in quoting this, this research, they said, in the past year, researchers found 234 Android apps that include the ability to listen for ultrasonic tones without the user's knowledge. And these are not all obscure apps, since numbered among them are McDonald's and Krispy Kreme. None of the 234 Android applications disclose their tracking capabilities in their privacy policies. Uh, anyway, uh, a Google representative said that the privacy policies enforced on all apps available in the Play market require developers to, quote, comprehensively disclose how an app collects, uses, and shares user data, including the types of parties with whom it's shared, unquote. The representative, that is Google's representative, didn't respond, ours writes, to a follow-up question asking why none of the five apps cited in the research findings disclosed the silver push functions. At the time this post went live, writes, at, writes ours, all five apps remained available in the Google Play Store. So uh, I don't know what this means. It would be nice, for example, if it were possible to audit all of the installed apps for their access to the microphone. So you could just, you know, after the fact, look to see what apps had acquired permission if you had given it to them at install time. The other thing that's annoying is, you know, typically apps, uh, or they may not, allow you to selectively disable the features that they're asking for. I don't know uh, how granular apps are uh, on uh, under Android, but it's, it would be nice if it's pretty if granular, but I don't, you know what, what, yeah, that's interesting. I'll have to look and see. I mean, you can, but, I, but they may break the app. I mean, well, but, but apps that don't have a reason to listen are, are yeah. I mean, you, you could argue, you know, you say, oh, no, I don't want you using my microphone. Yeah. 